Hey there, welcome to our PSR7 tutorial. Today, we'll be exploring the PHP Standard Recommendation 7, also known as PSR7. This specification, published by PHP FIG, Framework Interoperability Group, defines common interfaces for working with HTTP messages in PHP. By adhering to PSR7, you can ensure your PHP code is standardized and easily integrable with various frameworks and libraries. Let's dive in. PSR7, or PHP, Standard Recommendation 7, is a specification that provides a set of PHP interfaces representing HTTP messages. These messages consist of requests sent from clients to servers, and the responses sent back from servers to clients. PSR7 aims to create a unified approach to handling HTTP messages across PHP projects, promoting interoperability and code reusability. Before we delve deeper, let's take a quick look at the key features of PSR7. Immutable message instances. PSR7 messages are immutable, ensuring data integrity and promoting functional programming practices. HTTP methods. PSR7 defines constants for common HTTP methods, making it easier to work with different request types. Headers and body. PSR7 provides methods for working with headers and message bodies, simplifying data manipulation. URI and query parameters. PSR7 includes methods to handle uniform resource identifiers, URIs, and query parameters efficiently. Implementing PSR7 is straightforward, especially if you're using modern PHP frameworks like Symfony, Laravel, or Slim. These frameworks often include PSR7 support out of the box. If not, you can easily integrate PSR7 libraries using Composer. Working with PSR7 is incredibly intuitive. Whether you're building RESTFUL APIs or web applications, you can leverage PSR7 to handle HTTP messages efficiently. The PHP FIG website, phpfig.org, hosts the official PSR7 documentation and other related resources. You'll find a wealth of information on PSR7 implementation, best practices, and libraries that support it. Also, you can join the PHP FIG mailing list to stay connected with the PHP community. One of the powerful concepts PSR7 introduces is middleware. Middleware allows you to intercept and process HTTP messages during their life cycle. This pattern is widely used in modern PHP frameworks and helps modularize your code. Now, let's explore the core interfaces provided by PSR7. HTTP messages consist of requests from a client to a server and responses from a server to a client. This interface defines the methods common to each. Messages are considered immutable. All methods that might change state must be implemented such that they retain the internal state of the current message and return an instance that contains the change state. Request interface. Representation of an outgoing client-side request. Per the HTTP specification, this interface includes properties for each of the following. Protocol version, HTTP method, URI, headers, message body. During construction, implementations MUST attempt to set the host header from a provided URI if no host header is provided. Requests are considered immutable. All methods that might change state MUST be implemented such that they retain the internal state of the current message and return an instance that contains the change state. Response interface. Representation of an outgoing server-side response. Per the HTTP specification, this interface includes properties for each of the following. Protocol version, status code and reason phrase, headers, message body. Responses are considered immutable. All methods that might change state MUST be implemented such that they retain the internal state of the current message and return an instance that contains the change state. Stream interface. Describes a data stream. Typically, an instance will wrap a PHP stream. This interface provides a wrapper around the most common operations, including serialization of the entire stream to a string. URI interface. Value object representing a URI. This interface is meant to represent URIs according to RFC 3986 and to provide methods for most common operations. Additional functionality for working with URIs can be provided on top of the interface or externally. 
Its primary use is for HTTP requests, but may also be used in other contexts. Instances of this interface are considered immutable. All methods that might change state must be implemented such that they retain the internal state of the current instance and return an instance that contains the changed state. Typically, the host header will also be present in the request message. For server-side requests, the scheme will typically be discoverable in the server parameters. Uploaded file interface. Value object representing a file uploaded through an HTTP request. Instances of this interface are considered immutable. All methods that might change state must be implemented such that they retain the internal state of the current instance and return an instance that contains the changed state. Congratulations! You've completed our PSR7 tutorial, and now you have a solid understanding of how PSR7 simplifies working with HTTP messages in PHP. Embracing PSR7 can enhance the interoperability and maintainability of your projects, making your code more future-proof. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more PHP-related content. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please let us know in the comments below. Happy coding! I am Darina Zvetanova, an IT recruiter at IT Experts Europe. Each week we have a new open remote IT positions. Let's explore them together.